Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with some all new Lyrics Autopsies. I am about a year late to this one, but today on the table we have Tommy Lee by Tyler Yahweh featuring Post Malone. So for those who don't know, I am back on the Post Malone hate train for the third time now as he continues to try and create the illusion that his music has anything to do with rock and roll or metal music. Last year he appeared on this song as a guest appearance, and its presence slipped past me undetected as I scuffled briefly with the The Baby song Rockstar. But today I finally get my paws on it as I tear into the song that was named after the drummer of the band Motley Crue, and the latest sellout for the hip hop community. Let's have a listen and see how it compares to the music made by real rock stars. You always talking about it, you never making no vibe. I treat my hoes like an option if she talking and get out of pocket. I'm living life like a rock star, pulling up stretch limousines. So look at me, that cost a fee, the double C's all on my feet. Alright, well, this is still clearly hip-hop. The first thing Tyler does is fire off a double negative. You never make it no profit, which translates to you are making profit. And it's explained by him charging people just to fucking look at him. Which that's fine, because I don't want to see him anyway. At least not his name. Which I don't think we'll ever have to see again anyway. Tyler Yahweh also has mistresses, which he so elegantly calls his hoes, and how they're gonna get out of pocket. He then claims the same thing Post Malone claimed in his song, Rockstar. He likens his life to that of Angus Young, Gene Simmons, and Ronnie James Dio. They got all the girls, sure. They had Rhodey, sure, but I don't think they ever slept around like every rapper today tells us they do, but probably don't in reality. So Tyler calls himself a rock star and then immediately continues to brag about the limos, the shoes, the riches, how fucking fancy and exotic he is, where just to look at him, you have to fucking pay money. Like, what does this guy even look like if I may pirate the light the sky reflects for one moment? This guy's 26, but he looks like he's fucking 13. He's got the face tats and the partially dyed hair. Definitely a pass for me. He's not some exotic animal or piece of jewelry. He looks like just about any other rapper his age. He's not special. Special Ed, maybe, but that's about it. Because although they didn't really do much better with the idea, at least when Nickelback made a song about the rock star life, they mentioned a tour bus full of old guitars, not a limousine full of hoes. Here we have our first mention of Rax. Likely someone is losing money for whatever reason, and here Tyler Yahweh is instigating the situation. He threatens that if someone tries to get physical that he's gonna bust a cap. Then, seconds after saying he lives life like a rock star, he says he lives a life like a criminal. Well, which one is it? Criminal violence is something that rock stars never did. Never. Unlike this, some of the most famous rock stars live in fancy houses, yet most of them never brag about it in their songs. There hasn't been a single rock star that has revolved their lives around gang violence, nor have they wrote songs about it. It's always been a rap thing. But you know, I love how rappers these days write about how good they have it, and then still try to pretend they're in the thug life, when I bet most of them are too chicken shit to involve themselves in a gang rivalry or commit any sort of violent crime. I'm thinking the Lord, I got patience. Oh god, this song is all over the place, isn't it? He's gone from pretending he's some Tommy Lee to pretending he's thug life, and now he's trying to be religious and god-loving. While most rock stars and metalheads aren't the Satanists Christian elitists make them out to be, they're not exactly too religious either. Rather, we're more atheist than anything. I'm pretty as fuck, wanna copy me? <laughs> oh, Post, shut the fuck up. Even before the face tats, you looked like some groomed up homeless guy. Now you just look like a retard. Anyone calling you pretty has their standards really, really low. I heard you was mad cause I'm popping this shit. I meant mad because you're giving rock and metal music a bad name. If you became super famous no matter what happened, but never felt the need to try and profit off of us, there's a chance I'd never care about you outside of doing this on one of your songs once every few years just to have something that's nice and easy to knock out of the fucking park. But you have to try to enforce this idea that you're some rocker when the only real metal or rock you've ever performed in is metalcore, which already has a bad rap in the metal community. 
here's the fancy cars crap. Rappers bump their music in their Bugatti. Rockers will play their music riding down the street in the back of a pickup truck, if anyone remembers that scene from The Simpsons. That seems to be the end of the song. Of course, they did mention something about going to a party. Like, how many fucking rap songs does that make that talk about party? What kind of party, and what even are they celebrating? I have a feeling that rappers get invited to parties other rappers are being invited to, or are invited to so many parties that one of them is happening at the same time as another. Anyways, I guess that's going to be it for this video. If you like this video, please be sure to click thumbs up, or if you're insecure about your shitty taste in music and offended by my video, you're welcome to dislike it. Leave your thoughts about the song in the comments below, share the video far and wide, and please subscribe for more content like this. Please also click the bell to get your notifications. Thanks for watching, I'll be back soon for the next video.